Hi, this is Mike Levin. I hope everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving. After celebrating with my family, I joined my colleagues at the UN Climate Change Conference, known as COP25, in Madrid. With this visit, our delegation sent a strong message to the world that the House and the American people stand united in the urgent fight to combat the climate crisis, which is a public health, economic, national security, and moral challenge. A large reason I came to Congress was to deal with the climate crisis, and I was incredibly grateful to be a part of our delegation on the world stage. Through my work on the Select Committee on the Climate Crisis and the Natural Resources Committee, we're beginning to make positive progress, but there is still so much work to be done. Also this week, I spoke out against the Trump administration's new rule that will make it harder for millions of Americans to find their next meal. The Department of Agriculture placed new restrictions on the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, also known as SNAP, which could cause many families to lose their benefits. That includes veterans who have sacrificed for our country. And I've called on the Department of Agriculture to protect veterans from this senseless move. And I'll continue to fight on their behalf. You'll be glad to know that we passed legislation this week to crack down on those incessant and predatory robocalls that everyone hates. The bipartisan Trace Act requires carriers to offer call authentication technology to everyone at no additional charge and gives the Federal Communications Commission the ability to step up enforcement actions against unlawful robocalls. The House also passed the Voting Rights Advancement Act, which would restore the Voting Rights Act and help protect the sacred right to have our voices heard at the ballot box. The message is clear. We're still sending scores of legislation to the Senate that deserve hearings and a vote. At the same time, I'd like to say a word about the ongoing impeachment of the President. Yesterday, I finished reading the House Intelligence Committee report. All members of Congress, regardless of party or opinions of the President, owe it to their constituents to read the report. It is hard to imagine a scenario, in fact, more in line with what the founders had in mind. And as the report said, and I quote, America remains the beacon of democracy and opportunity for freedom-loving people around the world, from their homes and their jail cells, from their public squares and the refugee camps, from their waking hours until their last breath, individuals fighting human rights abuses, journalists uncovering and exposing corruption, persecuted minorities struggling to survive and preserve their faith, and countless others around the globe just hoping for a better life, look to America. What we do will determine what they see and whether America remains a nation committed to the rule of law. Thank you.